like the mighty phoenix, Warrior Land 3 returns for your viewing pleasure. Because I, I suppose it was, it was, it was dead in between this episode and, and, and the last. S3 Tower of Revival. Hello and welcome to Warrior Land 3. We're playing that today. Uh, Tower of Revival is an interesting level. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of it. Um, despite Wario looking quite unamused, uh, it's kind of neat. They search the, uh, gray chest right by the beginning, uh, and sure that's, you know, just a, you know, a little gimmick of like, oh, hey, the, the exit is right next to the entrance of the level. Um, things like that, like, little gimmicks just always make me excited just because it's like, oh, hey, that's kind of neat and fun, um, but, you know, I'm, I'm five years old. It's a little, little secret I want you to keep under your hat, uh. And with that, we, uh, actually complete our first puzzle using Hot Wario. It's pretty simple, uh, you just... Just light the torches, and you're good. Uh, you don't have to bother at all with um, the uh, full, full flaming hot Wario available now. Um, just light the torches, and you're good, and you'll remove that fire block. Uh, there are other fire blocks that require the use of full flame and hot Wario, um, but not today. Not today. Um, I suppose we won't be seeing them, so there wasn't too much point in mentioning them, but if you played Wario Land 2 or have seen my LP of it, you already know about them, but I guess I don't have a good way of knowing about that, and unless you answer this YouTube poll, I'm actually not 100% sure if I have the ability to make YouTube polls, uh, but I suppose you will, because you'll see it pop up on screen, or you won't, and then you'll know. Um, uh, so yes, it's, I, I like the little beginning, but you get to do a little like simple torch puzzle, nothing too difficult. Uh, and then you come in here and you have an interesting arrangement with these pneumos, in which you're coming from above them, which gives you kind of the power in the relationship. Uh, they're much easier to avoid coming from above than if we were, you know, going upwards. Uh, we were able to make a nice little shortcut out, so we don't actually need to go upwards. Up uh, then we continue up. <clears throat> Excuse me, I was gonna say we continue upwards, but uh, once you get past the bit where they are an obstacle, you find immediately, oh, I need to use the new most ability to continue onwards, which is kind of neat to have them shift from obstacle to thing you need to use um like immediately it's kind of neat and something i think is really cool just how something can shift between being you know oh this is required for you to uh progress uh when it was immediately an obstacle just you know a few seconds ago i think it's something that's very interesting about these games that it's something you don't really get to see a lot in video games even though like you know there's, a, there's actually probably a lot of instances of it but just maybe not as apparent, but just kind of neat the concept of something that was an obstacle immediately becoming, oh, I need this to, to progress. It's very cool, and I like it. Uh, but, you know, just a bit of folded level design to make you return backwards uh, to the beginning of the level once you get your gray key. A little taste for Warrior Land 4 once you get there. Uh, and what's also a taste for Warrior Land 4 is the ability to swim. I mean, that was in Warrior Land 2 as well. Um, but it's also in this game now that we have the power up the flipper fins. Uh, with it, Wario will finally be like, hey, you know what? I can do more than being adorable in the water. I can actually swim. I can do a breaststroke? I think that's a breaststroke. Um, I was on swim team for quite a few years, but I don't remember if that's a breaststroke or not. I think it is. Um, hmm, who knows? I was good at backstroke, and by good at backstroke, I mean everyone else was bad at backstroke, which made it seem like I was very good at it. Um, and then there's freestyle, and that's all I remember. Breaststroke? Yeah. I think I think I am right. I think that is breaststroke, actually. Huh. I remembered a thing. Congratulations, me. Let's go to the big bridge to, to celebrate. Um, so the thing with the big bridge, um, every, well, not every single treasure, but basically, basically every treasure, you're going to need to um, traverse the bridge again. So basically you need to do the whole uh, gray treasure uh, to be able to continue onwards. Like, basically the requ requirements to get the gray treasure are just like the beginning requirements to start this uh, treasure. So it's kind of interesting and weird, and maybe one of the reasons why um, this level seems so absolutely short. Um, I mean, it took like 20 seconds to get the great treasure. Um, before we continue onwards, let's talk a little bit about swimming. D-pad moves you around, B gives you a burst of speed, A rises you quickly, and if you don't do anything in the water, you float upwards. That's about it. Uh, I, I mean, I suppose we'll be seeing a little bit more of swimming nuances and mechanics as we continue along in the game. Uh, but for now, that's all it is. It's just water traversal. Um, just plain and simple. Uh, we'll go ahead and deal with these burrs. Um, I know they're called burr bears, but burr is a much better name. And, uh, we don't actually need to come this way. Uh, we would need to go that way if we wanted the coin, but I don't want the coin right now. It's a waste of our gosh darn time, if you'll excuse my foul mouth language. Um, and here we'll see what's pretty much the only puzzle they have with Ice Skate and Wario. Um, in which they place an obstacle that you can't get by, uh, unless you are Ice Skate and Wario, uh, in which they use the, uh, the bear bear shooting ice, making you go the other way. So if you were to just traverse down, normally the bear will see you, you'll get blasted with ice, and you'll have to uh, come back here. Um, 
but then you Ice Skate Wario across, you hit the bear, and you're good. Uh, it's kind of a simple puzzle, and it's like the most bare bones puzzle they do with Ice Skate and Wario, and it's also like kind of like the only puzzle they have. Like, they use that puzzle in Wario Land 2, they're gonna use it in Wario Land 4, they obviously just used it here. It's like they didn't have a lot of ideas with her how to uh, use that me uh, mechanic in a beneficial manner, uh, so it mostly is just kind of like an obstacle to you. Uh, but, eh, whatever. Um, with this we get our third not required treasure, the Cyan Prismatic Crown. And the reason I mention it's the third is because, uh, it was the last episode, I believe? Yes, in the last episode I picked up a Sapphire Bracelet from the, um, the Volcano's base, uh, which was a not required treasure, and I 100% forgot to, like, mention that it wasn't, uh, required. I don't think... Memory... If memory serves, I didn't rem... If my memory serves, I didn't remember to re remember... I don't think I said it, but I might have. I don't. I don't know. I could. I could have easily, I guess, checked before this episode, but it just dawned on me that I didn't, don't think I did. But whatever. We're here. We'll. We'll live. We'll, we'll, we'll live with it. I'm sorry. Um, so currents. Currents work exactly the way you'd expect them to. They push you in a direction, and you can't fight them yet. Yet. Um, so for now, just jump on a current and let it take you where you want to go. Don't be. Don't be a servant to it. Uh, you know, go the way you want to go. Sure, it's ultimately going to push you in the direction that it's currently going, but that doesn't mean that you can't harness its power to ultimately head in the direction that you wanted. Because uh, as you saw there, we were able to get that green key because I desired it. I willed it and I brought it into existence that we had collected the green key. Uh, once you get the green key, you can come up... Well, I mean, I guess you don't need your green key to come up here, but here's a boss. And this boss's name is... Wolfen boss, I believe? This guy's supposed to be a wolf, but he looks like a rat to me, but it might just be the kind of sewery uh, aesthetic this place has. Um, so I don't know. Uh, but honestly, like, other than the, I guess, confu- oh, whoops, I jumped into it. Uh, the confusing uh, nature of what the hell animal it is, uh, this might be the hardest boss in the game. Um, this is the one I always remember struggling the most with out of any other boss in the game. Um, as evidenced by the fact that I lost, because, you know, I've never lost a, a boss in this this video game before. Um, have we only fought the two bosses? I think it's only been Wormwood and, uh, and Dollboy. Uh, I think this is the third boss in the game. There might be a third one that I've completely blanked on, but I don't think there is. I think it's just those two making this guy the third, but I honestly think he might be the hardest boss in the game. So as we saw, these little bubbles, if they hit you, they'll make you float off the battle screen, so you just gotta... You gotta avoid them. They'll bounce around a couple times and then dissipate, so it's not like they are constantly adding up on the battle screen, but he will shoot a few out at once as the battle continues on. Um, although, I mean, he starts off with two on the screen already, so it's kind of rough. Um, he also makes these little spike balls that have Goombas inside of them. I don't know if they're exactly Goombas, but they are Goomba-like enough for me to call them Goombas. Um, you just want to knock them into him. I think one of the reasons why he's such a difficult boss is just... Um, just that he's very erratic, like the, the bouncing, uh, ah darn, just barely missed him again. Uh, the bouncing bubble thing can be kind of a bit weird. You'll find yourself in a situation where it's like, oh man, I don't know how to salvage this. Uh, and you just kind of have to take the hit whether you like it or not. Um, and then on top of that, injuring him, rather than just punching him in the face, or ground pounding him, jumping on him, or throwing something at him, you have to knock something off the walls, which kind of adds, not a random element to it, but an element of, kind of, I guess, unpredictability uh, for me, even though I... I've taken two advanced physics classes and should be able to do simple. That's going to bounce off of a wall in a very predictable way, but... Eh. Uh, I mean, we only lost to him once, so it's not too bad. Um, I believe the little urchin things that the Goombas come out of, if you were to hit yourself on them, you could become Puffy Wario, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Uh, but there's Wolfenboss, a very confusingly named enemy, because I think he looks more like a fox than a wolf, but looks more like a rat than a fox, so... Who the hell knows? Um, but for that, we get the Mist Fan. Our, uh, our next treasure, and our second green treasure, um, we, we've dabbled in greens before, uh, but the mist fan, believe it or not, will blow away mist. So it's less of a, specifically a mist fan, and more of just, it is a fan. Most fans can be waved, shook, flapped? What, what the hell action do you say with a... A fan, fan. It's in the it's in the name. You fan with a fan. Damn it! I was like, like what what verb do you use? But it, it's fanned. Um, and with that, we made it to the east side of the world. Uh, and so we've 
finally seen every single part of the world. We haven't seen every single level, of course. There's plenty of more levels to continue. And with that, we're going to continue on into the stagnant swamp. We're definitely not ending here. We're going We're going into this gosh darn thing. You know, we've just, ex we've just e e explored. We've discovered a new part of the world. Uh, we're going to continue onwards. We're going to go ahead and roll down here and pick up a gray key and, I guess, continue onwards to the other side of the swamp and be good. Um, there is a glitch that you can do here. I believe there's somewhere else you can do it in the game in which... Um, if you roll at the ex exact right spot, you can get Wario stuck, um, like in his little uh, sliding animation. Yeah, and you'll get stuck like this, and I believe, I'm not sure if I've done it, but you enter like a weird state where Wario's considered to be attacking, um, and you can like bump enemies and kill them as if you were rolling. I'm not 100% sure how to do it. There's also another glitch you can do in which you can... Um, kind of scroll the camera up. I'm not 100% sure how to do it, but you scroll the camera up by, like, diving in the water repeatedly to kind of push the camera upwards. You can get Wario to spawn, like, above the screen and interact with, like, invisible, like, doorways and stuff. It's a bit weird. There's a lot of glitches you can do in the Stagnant Swamp for some reason. Um, but the Stagnant Swamp, we also see the return of zip lines. We saw one of these in the Town of Chaos, but the way that one functioned, it immediately knocked us downwards, and we had to, um... Like, we wrote it down, and then it forced us into a roll. These more act more like, a Carrier? Things? Like, carrier zip lines that go back and forth, you jump on them, and it's good. Um, but then the last one will roll you through, take you to the gray chest, and you're good. Um, God, I, what, what are those called? Zip lines that go back and forth. There's, there's a word for that, and I'm, it's, it's gone. Mm. There's zip lines that go back and forth, and there's no word for it in the English language. It's very unfortunate. And interesting, but but hey, uh, with that we get the fantastic flute, which looks and sounds terrible. Holy God, I wasn't expecting that awful noise. Um, see, like that that sounded like decent, like all of those notes coming in all at once. Uh, but by themselves, sounded very very bad. And um, as you can see, there's some. Serpentine friends that seem to be waking up uh, by the sound of the fantastic flute, almost as if a charmer has snaked them. As if a snake has charmed them. Hmm. Interesting. Also, something interesting you'll notice uh, the east side is forever cloaked in darkness. For now. Um, so, hey, I guess that's that. Uh, we'll just chill in our stagnant swamp that's locked into forever night. I guess we'll just sleep here.